Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's theCUBE, covering EMC World 2015. Brought to you by EMC, Brocade, and VCE. Welcome back everyone, Jeff Frick here from EMC World 2015. You're watching theCUBE where we go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. We've been going three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage here from EMC World 2015, our sixth year at the show. It's where we started theCUBE in, in 2010, so we always like coming out. We have a ton of great guests, and uh, so we're excited for our next segment. My co-host was Stu Miniman. Thanks, Thank Jeff. You. And joining us for this segment, we've got Mike Cookie, who's the Senior Director of Outbound Product with Pivotal, part of the whole federation here. Uh, Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, I'm really excited to be here. All right, so, so you're in the big data side of Pivotal. We, we, we've dug in with the Cloud Foundry pieces there. Talk to us a little bit about you know, your organization and your role there. Yeah, so um, basically we have a set of tools that we leverage for advanced analytics, big data processing, but more importantly and maybe uniquely, we really drive those analytics into operationalized applications. And that's where the synergy point with Cloud Foundry comes in, being able to kind of rapidly iterate and do agile development. Um, at Pivotal, we firmly believe it's, it's not just building applications, it's building applications that leverage analytics so that they can create unique experiences for customers. Um, but yeah, so I, I represent a set of an analytical databases, um, a Hadoop offering, a distribution, and then uh, sets of SQL protocols enabling uh, advanced analytics on Hadoop. Yeah, so, so Mike, you know, when I think with Pivotal first formed, people kind of scratched their head and said, we got all these weird piece parts uh, that came from EMC and VMware. Uh, what they had in common is they were developer-centric, many of them had open source capabilities. You know, how, how has that kind of come together over the last couple of years? So I think, it's funny, it's actually a testament to the leadership of the company because they listened to the customer base from an EMC perspective and a VMware perspective. They started hearing customers driving towards new use cases. And when they looked across their portfolio and their people, they saw a very clear path to connecting sets of technologies that were in each of the organizations. Um, and they are rooted in the same general foundations like uh, you just mentioned. So um, we announced uh, in February of this year that we're going to be open sourcing the entire data portfolio. We have a uh, flexible subscription we call the Big Data Suite. In the big data space and the traditional analytics space, it's, it had been traditionally a very proprietary market. And then thanks to Hadoop and the energy and uh, you know, the, the healthy community in, a, in the Apache organization, we've really seen open source establish itself uh, as, as a sea change and also really as a, a requirement. So we had already taken that tact with a number of the VMware assets that are in the application stack, and obviously Cloud Foundry uh, is 100% open sourced as well. So we wanted to follow through with that strategy across our data products, and um, we actually open sourced the first one just two weeks ago. We open sourced uh, Gemfire, which is an in-memory database. That powers kind of like uh, bleeding edge stock portfolio transaction and fraud use cases, or uh, the largest booking systems in the world. And it's really unheard of to take such amazingly advanced technology and just release it out to the open source. So that's yeah. called Geode, I hope people uh, dig into that. Okay, if I remember right, was that the fast data piece uh, that's correct. That, that was in there? So, yeah, I mean, we, we look at what's been happening with open source and, and to trend that Wikibon's been tracking for many years. I mean, our company itself is founded on open source and crowdsourcing. Uh, we really liked what the Cloud Foundry Foundation did to help put proper governance in place, learn some of the problems that maybe OpenStack had had as to maybe a little bit too fragmented in you know, so many projects out there. Can you talk a little bit about how Pivotal looks at you know, how do you, how do you guys make money and differentiate from the pure open source version? So, uh, you brought up a couple great points. The, f the first one is, um, open source is vibrant and it's an amazingly powerful momentum, but it really, it results in um, very bursty development cycles across many, many projects, right? And so, Pivotal's obviously heavily invested in the Hadoop space, and so are everybody at the show, right? So it's, in, it's better for all of us and our customers if it's stable and predictable uh, and scalable. So same thing happened in the, in the platform as a service space, as you pointed out. There was a ton of innovation, but customers and enterprises were kind of paralyzed because there's a lot of complexity, and there's also, you have a limited amount of budget that you have to invest in these technologies, so you're making an investment that you want to be able to play forward. So the Cloud Foundry Foundation helped to kind of stabilize that platform as a service ecosystem. It brought in all of these major players that you know, put a stake in the sand and said we're going to invest in this platform as a standard. 
And we really saw, along with a number of major partners and um, even competitors, that we needed the same thing in the data space. So we, we launched something with a, we, we're proud to be a founding member of uh, something called the Open Data Platform. And that's basically driving towards the same type of uh, stability in the Hadoop space uh, that we achieved in the platform as a service space. So your outbound product, so I, I assume you're talking to a lot of customers, prospects. Talk a little bit about how that world is evolving. How, you know, just the concept of big data, the early days of Hadoop are, are moving from, you know, what was very early days into POCs, into production, into big production. How is that uh, adoption going? What are you hearing out in the field? What yeah. can you share with us? Uh, so I think it's it's been really exciting to see just how rapidly this technology is changing the cost and value that enterprises can get from data and analytics. Um, but I think what we've seen early on, that, that complexity and that bifurcation in the, in, the, in the ecosystem resulted in a bit of a slower adoption and, a, and maybe a slower transition into prime time production use cases. Pivotal was unique at that time because we had invested heavily in SQL advanced analytics for doing predictive machine learning uh, and even prescriptive analytics. And what we did is we ported that advanced SQL analytics tool onto Hadoop. And so the result there that benefited Pivotal and our customers was they could take their traditional stack and they could point it directly at Hadoop data leveraging this technology called Hawk. And so when we witnessed that enterprise wasn't hesitant to use Hadoop, they just wanted to leverage their existing skill sets and their technology investments on new data in Hadoop, uh, we realized that we could help to accelerate their adoption if we could bring all of that stack into an enterprise uh, environment. So I would argue we're seeing really nice uh, progress there. Last year we released this, this subscription called the Big Data Suite. And we talk about this journey from storing data to becoming an expert at analyzing data, but then critically building something with the intelligence that you just obtained. And we've seen people now mature across this over the last 24 months. So what originally was a customer just investing to store and analyze big data, very quickly became somebody that was requiring an in-memory database in order to push the analytics up into the application. And so the Big Data Suite did really well as a result. And then what we saw this year was that customers wanted to take that stack and migrate it with their infrastructure strategies. So support for virtual infrastructures, support for the, for the Cloud Foundry platform as a service, right? Ability to um, launch these offerings as services inside of the platform as a service. So we spend a lot of time focusing on the ability to enable kind of agile analytics and agile applications and, and seeing the convergence of those two. Yeah, so Mike, uh, Jeff and I have spent a bunch of time today talking to the EMC Federation Big Data Lake. Can you talk about how you Pivotal and your products fit into that? Absolutely, so no matter what anybody tells you, building large clusters, it's not that easy, right? And applying the, um, the sets of uh, hardware and software that need to be brought together to extract data, I mean extract value from your, your big data use cases, it takes time and it takes expertise. And this is one area we think the Federation can, can really lead the way to accelerate adoption. We've actually been in market with EMC for, since our inception, uh, with an appliance that enables you to do turnkey analytical database or turnkey Hadoop stack with SQL on top of it. And uh, we also kind of pioneered with EMC the idea of this data lake, which uh, supports the use case I just mentioned. It's a mixture of an analytical database, Hadoop, SQL on Hadoop, in-memory technologies, virtualization, platform as a service. It's kind of your next generation platform, if you will. And the Federation uh, Business Data Lake gives us a really heavily integrated uh, way to deliver that complex stack in a low, uh, a low kind of complexity, low risk, uh, have rapid time to value. So it, you could think of it as a, a, a reference architecture, but there's been a lot of co-development to ensure the integrity and the, uh, and the rapid uh, provisioning of that in infrastructure. So, getting close on time, you're working outbound, what's, uh, what's the next hill to climb in the next six months for you? I think, um, you know, Pivotal's very unique because we see the merging of these three markets where a lot of other people are focused down each market independently. So I think what you'll see from us is an acceleration of the uh, ways to leverage our data and analytics and in-memory technologies through our platform as a service. Um, I think also in-memory in general is an area that we've been heavily invested but we're moving aggressively forward on. We just released a brand new Hadoop, uh, Hadoop offering, a brand new version of our Hadoop offering, Pivotal HD, 
and that includes the full Spark stack. So we're very interested in how in-memory impacts these amazing applications, but more importantly maybe how in-memory and in-memory file systems can kind of merge the world of advanced analytics and the applications that need to feed off of those advanced analytics. So I think we've been, uh, our, our kind of strategy and vision has been validated and now it's about really accelerating uh, the, the ability to integrate all these together for enterprises. Exciting time, Spark Summit's coming up, right? In uh, the summer, I know they're getting a lot of activity. It is, we'll be there. And then you got the, then you got the flash, you got fast, 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 so it's all good. Plus DSSD from EMC, can you imagine what these massive, you know, high performance arrays of memory can do for the, the space we all play in? Yeah, it's as a matter of fact, uh, Wikibon's uh, Chief Technology Officer, David Floyer, is doing a session right now about uh, rack scale flash, or what Wikibon calls Flash's memory extension. You know, real transformative to just take some of those core technologies uh, and, and transform how you're building things. I mean, we're six years into kind of Flash back into the enterprise, yep. and we're just starting to hit some of the really cool stuff we're going to do with yeah, it. Yeah, I think from a federation perspective, that's where you're going to see some amazingly impressive technology come out in, in a relatively short amount of time. Yeah, so good stuff. Well, Mike, thanks for stopping by at my cookie from Pivotal. Thank you guys very much. Absolutely. I'm Jeff Frick here with Stu Minimum. We're at EMC World 2015, day three of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We'll be back with our next guest after this short break. Thanks for watching.